40% of the time, um, there's a pacemaker, which is figuring out when it needs to kick in uh, to basically make my heart beat. Not only do I live technology in my job, right, but technology is keeping me alive. I was first uh, exposed to technology through my brother. My brother's 12 years older, he was getting a computer science degree, and so he took me into the computer lab at the university, and I was about a 10 or 11, so this is back in the, in the early 80s, and, uh, and I was just enamored with, with the technology, and so um, that was my first experience, and then very soon thereafter, he taught me how to program so by 11, I'd already written a, a program, a game on a VIC-20 or a Commodore, a very old computer. My first job in technology was when I was in university. I went to work at something called the United States Water Conservation Laboratory. And I worked for a hydrologist, of all things. And as a brilliant guy, toured around the world, creating models and algorithms for how water and irrigation worked, and consulted with Saudi Arabia and a lot of other countries. Uh, but he wasn't a programmer, and so he needed a model, a visual model, and he needed his algorithms put into uh, an application, a software program effectively, so he could actually um, start using that more effectively. One of the things that I'm really passionate about in the world of technology is, uh, is teaching others about technology in cool and innovative ways. So one of the things that I did a few years ago is I started a robotics team uh, that competed both regionally and nationally. Um, and what was really interesting is we took a bunch of kids that had very little experience in technology and out of that group of uh, 10 or 15 kids, several of them have now decided to, to pick up a career in engineering and have actually really come out of their shell. So some of them were very introverted, very shy, and when we got them actually building a robot together, taking part in a competition, talking about how they could solve you know, challenges in society, and this was all part of this competition, right? Each one of them figured out they had particular skills and experiences that they could bring to bear, and really, really kind of bloomed. A year and a half ago, I passed out four times, my heart stopped uh, four times in the same day, and, and so today, 40% of the time, um, there's a pacemaker, which is figuring out when it needs to kick in, uh, to basically make my heart beat. Not only do I live technology in my job, right, but technology is keeping me alive uh, moment by moment. I think a lot of times when we think about uh, digital transformation, when we think about companies transforming, we sort of leave out the people. We leave out the, the, the fact that this has to be holistic. And uh, we aren't just leaving people by the wayside and replacing them with technology. We're taking those people and making better use of them. We're retraining them. We're making our comp company more effective, right? Using technology as an augmentation to the people, uh, not as a replacement for the people. And I think that's an important concept.